Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gumbel. This is Christopher Travis. <laughs> you guys already know who I am. He's being mm -hmm. funny. I, I, I'm the good I'm the guy that keeps cracking jokes, but this is Matt Weiss. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we're brought to you by our good friends at Hockey Locker. Ooh, you, you can, can get, get all your that. hockey gear, you can get all your referee gear, you can get your skate sharpened figure skaters. Yes, you can get your skate sharpened. They sell inline skates for you roller hockey players. They got roller hockey gear as well. You can get old NHL jerseys. You can get those jerseys customized. You can get these Milwaukee Admiral jerseys. You can get them customized as well. You can get uh, your current NHL jerseys from the Preds. You can get that lovely Predator hat. Um, yeah, if you go into the store and spend money, tell them that we sent you. But if you don't spend money, we don't know you. Uh, you can visit them. <laughs> you can visit them at hockeylockermilwaukee.com, or you can visit their store located at 2002 West Howard Avenue, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or you can call them at 414-800-7585. Ha ha! He got he it. Nailed it. Good man. Well, anyways, right. uh, nailed it. Daniel, take it away. We did our commercial. All right, so the Milwaukee Admirals played the Texas... Oh, Texas wait. Stars. Wait, the Cedar Park Stars. Yeah, Cedar Park Stars. Get it right. Yeah, they're located in Cedar Park, Texas. For <laughs> those of you wondering. Um, uh, it was a shootout loss, but we'll get into the scoring in a minute. It was Any? a horrible, but yeah, a shootout loss. It was... Uh, it was this a, losing really yeah. gets old. It wasn't a loss, though. It was a half a loss or a quarter of a loss. It's a half a win. But it's not a W either. It's, we're in limbo. Well, well, a half of a W is what? A half a w, a half of a w is better than the um, nothing we got on Wednesday. But, Dan, what's, a, Dan, what's a half a W? A U. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's really no stats that really stick out to me. I mean, it was a shootout loss. It was a good game. Very Man, even. Ball was on fire tonight. I don't know Can what we... the hell happened to him, but he was like a brick wall tonight. The Can... Admirals were struggling against him. Can we him. pull up the uh, the attendance by any chance? Uh, we I'll will... do that once he All starts right. doing All right. this thing. I was attendance... thinking about that. Yeah, the attendance deserves a little. I did. All right, so scoring in the first was Tanner Kiro, former Chicago, or Chicago. Rockford Ice Hog. Uh, his seventh with an assist from Anthony Lewis, former Rockford Ice Hog. And Dylan, Dylan Hetherington, his ninth. Um, then we have Oli Palve, his second with an assist from Tanner Kiro, his 19th. Then on the power play, Michael McCarron got his 10th with an assist from mm -hmm. Anthony Richard, his 8th, and Tommy Novak, his yeah. 23rd. Yeah, Mikey. And uh, then Tommy Novak got his 9th in the 2nd. With an assist from Carrier, his 27th, and Donovan, his 21st. No scoring in the third, no scoring in the overtime. Uh, shootout. Um, shooting first was Rem Pitlick, no goal. Shooting first for Texas was Jason Robertson. He scored. Um, then up was Daniel Carr, no goal uh, for the Admirals. And then Tanner Kiro for the Stars, no goal. Then Frederick Adro was up. He scored. And then Joel LaSprance scored for the Stars. Hey, why was Robertson's uh, goal uh, reviewed? Um, um, it went under the bar. It went under the bar. And but the, they still waved it good, though. Yeah, they, they it went under the bar, and the goal light didn't go on either. Uh, so. so three stars of the game were Michael McCarron with a goal, uh, Tommy Novak with a goal and assist, and Landon Bow with 34 saves on 36 shots. Yeah, like I said, Landon Bow was on fire tonight. I was not expecting that out. So two of the three stars, that's not bad. All right, Dan, who's on your crap list tonight? <laughs> I, I have a feeling I know. There's like five guys on his crap list I could see right off the bat. I think for me, uh, Ellie kind of made it on this one tonight. There's at least five, and surprisingly, Tolvanen's not on the list. Really? Ba based on his okay, uh, his metrics. List. The metric he uses, okay. Tolvanen's. All right, so on my list tonight, normally I go by plus minus, but with it being an overtime game, I'm actually going to tell you about the guys who actually played bad. Uh -oh. One of them was Tolvanen. He uh -huh. missed a wide open gaping net and shanked it. 
Can I add on why he did? Can I add on that? A lot of them were shooting wide. Yeah. So many wide shots today on net or on, on net attempts. And we should have won this in regulation. We yes. really should. It really during it, that second period. There was man. a there was a couple of times where Bo was like literally flailing in the crease and like providing open opportunities, and they just could not put it in the basket. And yeah, they could have put the basket. They were shooting it wide, and then they'd have open opportunities to shoot, and then they just hold on to it. They didn't look as bad as they did with Grand Rapids, though. They yeah. looked a lot better, a little bit more concise. It's just, again, getting the stuff on net is crucial. And you can't miss these open net opportunities. But I agree. we can't crucify them too much no. because they're still the best team in the league. Exactly. And we did get a point. We get a yeah. point. We get a point out of it. All right, so in that was Connor Ingram. He gave up his average, as Chris says, two goals. So... You know, the shootout goals, they don't really count against your goals against the average. Yeah, like I said, he's good for giving up at least two, so I ain't too worried. Yeah. So he's Troy's keeping his... creeping up there into three, because it seems like Troy likes to give up three a lot. But well, we play, Texas, shutouts, we play Texas game. again on Wednesday. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, attendance at the UW Panther Arena tonight was 8,701. I love seeing that. That's so nice to see when. Yeah, play. don't you love a action, a energy filled arena? Like and that place was not quiet. If you it could was just, loud the if whole there time. was a way, you could just get that the UW UW Madison marching band to come every. Yeah, because that was kind of cool. Like, that is our drum line. <laughs> so, like, because we had a we had a like almost a two for one special with uh, promos tonight. We had the Brewers Admirals uh, two man advantage uh, promo night, which was a t shirt. <coughs> and then uh, you had uh, UW marching band night. And like, and apparently, uh, they, so we said 8,701. Yeah. That's pretty close to the capacity for the fixed seats. Like, of the, the fixed seats, that's like well over. So they yeah. had a good night. It felt like a really good hockey night. That's actually above league average. Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, but odds are we won't come anywhere near that again until like the next big concert, well, concert which thing. is probably like Ario well, Speedway again, because you know there's gonna be a lot of people that come to that. Yeah. Um, Russell Dickerson will draw just because people want to And maybe Scotty McCurry, just because of the whole country. Uh, remind me uh, when we can to talk about the uh, the skating event. We will as soon okay. as we're done with this. I gotta gotcha. finish it up. Just. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. So referees were Mike Dietrich. He and uh, Tim Mayer, he is not a fan of him. Um, then, then we have uh, Tyler Gregory and James Grenier were the linesmen. You uh, saw a lot of stuff that I did where, like, we were just looking at Mayer the whole time, just like, why are you not calling this stuff? Like, it, especially when the, like, because we, we're sitting in the... Um, the we're sitting zone. in the corner, and obviously I know where you were. We were watching uh, Olivier was getting cross-checked. Boom, boom, boom. He On turns around just... Boom! Pops the guy. No yeah. call. The referee's looking right at him. Yeah. And then we turn around and pop him, and the arm goes. Eh. Yeah. I'm just like, what is with the? What? what I know. I. What I did get, we do to deserve I know, this? I understand. Like, what do they always say? If retaliation always leads to a penalty. Yeah, it and, does. But come on, you cannot let a free pop to the face go like that. Or, or when, uh, what was that, they had, like, five guys trying to jump Schneider at once? Yeah. yeah no, you don't even get a ru- even You don't even get you matching get roughings. roughings. Yeah. So it's just one of those... Uh, well, what's the season series looking like between Texas and Milwaukee? We are now 3-1-0-1. Okay. So yeah. we're still leading that. Yeah. You can't uh, be mad. No. Well, you can if you choose well, yeah, to, you but can. I wouldn't yeah. recommend it. I would it. know. We're still the best team in the league. All right. So up next for our show. Uh, tomorrow night against the uh, the Predators and the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, did you want me to do the great skate thing? Go for it. Right. Yeah, knock yourself out. So uh, Admirals are doing a bit of a thing uh, for Saturday or later on today if this is broadcasting uh, tomorrow, which will be today. Uh, they are doing what is called the Great Skate Event, and that's going to be at the Slice of Ice Rink in Red Arrow Park off of Water and State. Uh, For those of you in the Milwaukee area. Yes, in the Milwaukee area. It goes from 1 to 4, and there is going to be uh, player signing events. There's like, what, 22 players, I think, 
that are going to be uh, signing in uh, like brief waves from like 1 to 315 if I remember correctly. And the bonus is for kids 18 and under if they wear any kind of hockey jersey. doesn't have to be Admirals. Doesn't, it can be just their favorite jersey, school jersey, whatever it is if they Kiwi, play. Uh, they get a free ticket to any, uh, to uh, on a, what is it, a remaining season ticket. remaining home game. Yeah, at the Panther. So basically they get a voucher. Yeah, yeah that's, which is and, good though. Which is awesome. So, yeah, they're um, trying to promote the game of hockey, plus trying to get kids active as well. Because yeah. you know, our section was to be filled with kids, party. and they were loud and mm-hmm. rowdy. Yeah, rowdy yeah, than that. Really yeah. nice. <laughs> it was but, uh, nice to have a full arena tonight. Yes, but uh, parking uh, parking for uh, Red Arrow Park is not that bad. Uh, there's a couple of uh, garages within the vicinity, like in yeah, in you one just got to be willing to pay garage prices. Yeah. And downtown, that's always going to be a big issue. Otherwise, to, um, yeah. if you want to be clever, you yeah. could catch uh, public transportation. You know that thing that not many people ah, like the using. hop. You the can hop. catch that's the hop. That's technically public transportation, but it's free. I know yeah. it is free. But yeah. it only runs from like the Amtrak station roughly to the east side. Yeah. We're talking about trying to get suburbanites to come to downtown Milwaukee. Yeah. But well, well that, that goes right past the pick and save who has this giant massive parking lot that they never fill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 Metro Mart. Yeah. But um, no, it's like it's a free event. It's a like, good event to go to. I'd recommend going free events, free autograph signings, and uh, free tickets for the kids. And you you'll probably be able to hang out with Roscoe because Roscoe's everywhere. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with that big orange look. Nope, Roscoe's cool. But we did see a red one today. Yeah, we had a uh, Bucky Badger from Madison. And, or, uh, I will have a photo Madison of uh, me and him up there later. On the page. All right. Onward and upward to the uh, Nashville. Uh, uh, the, the Nashville yeah. Predators play the Edmonton Oilers tomorrow night. I'm about to break down the Edmonton McDavid's. Yeah, you like what I did there? All righty then. Their front line forwards. Well, we got their center, Connor McDavid, uh, 30 goals, 50 assists. He's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, isn't he like the leader in points in the entire NHL? I believe so. Sounds right. I know we have uh, right winger Josh Archibald, uh, seven goals, six assists. Then we got Sam uh, Gagner. Gagne. Gagne? There's no I in there. It doesn't matter. Well, anyway, Sam Gagne, four goals, seven assists. Then we got in the second line, we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins, their left winger. Uh, 14 goals, 23 assists. Then we have Leon Dreisaitl, their center. Uh, 29 goals, 54 assists. And then, uh, who is that? Keller Yamamoto? Kyler. Uh, five Kyler. goals, six assists. Uh, their third line, the only person I'd really worry about is uh, Zach Kashan. Uh, 14 goals, 15 assists. He also has uh, Juhar Kahari. I'm not making Oh, you're talking up. about Zach Cassian and Yahar Kahari. Yeah, Kahari has six goals, two assists, and then uh, Shehan, uh, six goals, six assists. I'm not making these names up. Now, their defensive units, uh, you got Oscar Clefbaum, uh, five goals, 25 assists. Adam Larson, apparently he recently got caught up because all he has is four assists. No, he's just not that good. Uh, well, Ethan, <laughs> Bear, right, Ethan Bear in their second defensive pairing, he has five goals, 13 assists. and then He's Dar- a little tough one, too. And then Darnell yeah. Nurse, he has four goals, uh, 20 assists. Other than that, they're a third defensive pairing. I wouldn't even worry about them. Uh, basically, I'd say keep your eye open for McDavid because obviously mm-hmm. he is a really good hockey player. And they're, in the McDavid's last five games, he has three goals, one assist. Uh, Sam Gagne has two goals in his last five. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, he has one goal and three assists in his last five. And then uh, Leon Dreisaitl, he has two goals and six assists in his last five. And now, this... Just to give you an idea of who's hot right now, and their defense ain't doing squat. All right, uh, so this also is a 6 o'clock central puck drop. Yep. Yeah. So that's all I got as far as the preview goes. All right. Last time these two teams met was uh, back on. Oh crap, I just had it. It was like January something or other. 
It wasn't that long ago. No, it wasn't, and the Predators did lose that game. If I remember correctly, that was the game that La Violette got fired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I don't find it. I don't know. We just can move on and never look back. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, I'm... you do that. I'll find the last game you played. All right, let me get to the Western Conference here. So we got Edmonton. They have 54 games played, 28 wins, 20 losses with uh, 62 points. They are 6-3-1 in their last 10, riding a two-game losing streak. Hmm. Nashville is thirty-five or 53 games played, 26 wins, 20 losses, 7 overtime losses, with a 6-4 and four record in their last 10 with a two-game win streak. Yeah, January 14th How many games? was their last meeting, and Edmonton won 4-2. How many games behind are we currently with the wild card standing? We are one point. One point. And we have three, two games in hand against Calgary and three against Arizona. Oh, yeah. So this is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, I think we were, we were talking in our last uh, installment of In the System or one of the videos before our last In the System installment. We do a million of them. Aren't but, um, mm -hmm. but the, well, the, the first one, the, the, the first In the System that I was on. But uh, okay. the, the one well, thing that I was talking about with the Predators is that right now, just focus on the wild card. Don't focus. Don't worry about the central division. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you're focus. probably not going to get the focus division. On, Just go yeah. for a while. Focus right? on the WC. That's all you got to worry about right now. Yep. And then once you get in there, then worry about climbing that. Yes. And while we're looking at that, also note that Dallas is 4-5-1 and one in their last 10. <laughs> and St. Louis is 4-5-1 and one in their last 10. So yeah, we're gonna see a divisional shift. Most it's likely. gonna be it's gonna be a crazy last couple weeks of the season, and that makes for good hockey. That's yeah, the best yeah. thing about it. That's and it's gonna make us all lose our hair. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> well, you already got us beaten. Yeah, um, um. this team already this team already, <laughs> this team already beat watching. us to the point. The Admirals' cardiac kids era did drive me bald. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't go bald. I don't go bald. My family has a good head of hair. <laughs> all right, Pensta, so locks. There you go, locks of all locks. right, so their goaltenders are mostly split, but the guy with the most starts is Miko Koskinen, and the big wall that he is. <laughs> by the way, he's a the, big guy. The reason, by the way, um, he has uh, 31 games played, 15 wins, 11 losses, two overtime losses, with a 2.91 goals against average, one shutout. And a .909 save percentage. The reason I said that Miko Koskinen is a big boy, he's a tall dude. He's a he's a redwood. He's a he's a total redwood. He is six foot seven, two oh two. Yeah. Ouch. What the hell are you doing playing goalie at six seven? Shouldn't you be playing in the NBA? Well, you got that spread. You gotta get that, especially with that art. Was it that wingspan? Yeah, I guess. But damn, that's a big ass player for a goalie. All right, and then their backup goalie is Mike Smith. He's got 28 games played, 13 wins, 9 losses, 4 overtime losses with a .899 save percentage and a 3.00 goals against average with one shutout and an assist. So Mike Smith's always good for an assist. Um, so that's that going forward. Um, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville's Admiral Coverage and your Predator preview. We go check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. And while you're at it, go over to YouTube, click subscribe, and then hit the little bell. That way you get notified whenever we do a video. Watch our videos. Continue to like and follow us on Facebook. Tell your friends. Promote the brand. Give us some comments, too. By the way, thank you to all the people that commented on 